Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're gonna be covering a brand new penny stock to the channel. As the name implies, it's in the pharmaceutical space, so the company name is InMed Pharmaceutical Incorporated, and they're really involved in the rare cannabinoid space and looking for innovative solutions to existing ailments or conditions. Now there's a lot to go through in today's presentation, but before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of this company before, if you're currently holding shares of InMed Pharmaceutical, and how you think they stack up to some of the other players in this space. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be focusing on InMed Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. As the name implies, obviously involved in the pharmaceutical space with a specialty focus on cannabinoid-based research, therapies, and development. So this one's super exciting for a number of reasons we're gonna talk about in today's presentation. And they actually have a number of products that are already in clinical trials, as we're gonna talk about in a couple of minutes here. So to kick things off, I wanted to look at the chart. As you can see here, trades on the NASDAQ exchange in the United States under the ticker symbol INM. And as of close, this is as of Tuesday, June 7th, they closed out the session up half a cent or about 1% per share to finish the day out at 67 and a half cents US. Now, based on the fact that InMed has a fully diluted share count of about 21.6 million shares, you're looking at a market cap on this one, sub $15 million US, which definitely makes it a penny stock in every sense of the word. And based on some of the developments we're gonna talk about a little bit later in the presentation, this may be a perfect entry point to take advantage and get exposure to this high growth sector. Now, as you can see on the six month chart, InMed Pharmaceuticals has been downtrending since the start of the year. So back in December, this company was trading in the $1.60 range and very similar to what we've seen in the macroeconomic environment and penny stocks across the board right now, the company has sold off and you're now able to pick up shares for a fraction of what you could have only a couple of months ago. Now with that being said, and in terms of video format here, we're gonna jump over to the InMed Pharmaceuticals corporate website. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Take a look at their business model and really what this company is all about. Then we're gonna move into their investor presentation and really build out on my bullish thesis for this company moving forward. So as you can see here, InMed Pharmaceuticals is really focused on developing new patentable cannabinoids for pharmaceutical development. They've already got an impressive patent portfolio, which we're gonna talk about in a second. They're building a library of cannabinoid analogs that can be selectively modified for a variety of different uses or practical applications. So where that really starts is with their unparalleled rare cannabinoid expertise. And we're gonna talk about what we mean when we say rare cannabinoid in a second here, but InMed is a leader in the manufacturing, the development and commercialization of rare cannabinoids. Our manufacturing technologies produce several rare cannabinoids for the pharmaceutical development and consumer products. So there's really two divisions within InMed Pharmaceuticals. We're gonna talk about that in a second here. And that's actually a perfect segue to the second point, which talks about their subsidiary, Bay Medica. So within this greater portfolio of rare cannabinoids for the health and wellness sector, they've actually created a subsidiary again named Bay Medica, which is responsible for producing a portfolio of rare cannabinoids as raw ingredients for these health and wellness products. They have engineered bio-identical cannabinoids with high purity and consistency that are free of THC. So when you think about traditional cannabis use cases, a lot of times you think about CBD and THC. So that's not actually what you're getting here. These are free of THC. Now I'll give these three a try. These are difficult words to pronounce. So let me know in the comment section below how you think I did. But the three minor cannabinoids that they're really focused on here, you guys, are Cannabidivarian, also known as CBDV, 
cannabichromine, which is known as CBC, and cannabicitrin, which is known as CBT. And these are the products or the minor cannabinoids that they're actually creating and are available for wholesale purchase. Now they've also started production of a fourth one known as tetrahydrocannabivarin, and they have plans to have this highly sought after minor cannabinoid ready for inclusion in a wide variety of their health and wellness products very soon. Now based on this portfolio of rare cannabinoids, this really opens up a lot of doors for the team at Idmen Pharmaceuticals. So if we continue to scroll down, you can see unlocking the therapeutic potential of rare cannabinoids. The goal here is really to unleash this emerging class of compounds which are gaining interest for their potential medical benefits. So InMed has initiated two pharmaceutical programs. Again, these are in clinical trials. So the first is a phase two clinical trial for epidermolysis bullosa, which is a rare genetic skin disease. A lot of times it affects children. We're gonna take a look at this in a little bit more detail in a second here and has begun preparing to initiate clinical studies focused on glycoma following promising preclinical results. So they're actually finding practical use cases for these rare cannabinoids to help people or customers live better lives. And that's really just scratching the surface. So by producing these rare cannabinoids for a variety of different uses, they're actually finding applications across a wide spectrum of various different use case scenarios, from pharmaceutical development to wholesale, to consumer health, like we just talked about, and the wellness sector. Their pharmaceutical program includes that phase two clinical program in dermatology and a preclinical program for glycoma, which we just talked about. And their subsidiary, Bay Medica, is currently the leading large batch producer of wholesale CBC. Now, in addition to the CBC compound, which we alluded to earlier, they've now initiated sales of CBDV and CBT and have begun commercial scale production of THCV, which is gonna be launching soon. So again, a number of different facets to this company, a number of different use cases for these rare cannabinoids, and a number of reasons to really be excited about InMed Pharmaceuticals moving forward. And this is really all underpinned by the team of experts that they've assembled here with an extensive knowledge of the cannabinoid space, science, manufacturing, and development. So with that being said, now we're gonna shift gears. We're gonna jump into the investor presentation and talk a little bit about some of the investment highlights that we're gonna build out on throughout the remainder of the presentation. So now that we have an understanding of what InMed Pharmaceuticals is focused on, the products they're developing, their clinical trials, and some of the practical applications for these rare cannabinoids, I wanted to give you guys a couple of other reasons to be excited about this potential investment opportunity. So again, they're the global leader in the development manufacturing manufacturing and commercialization of rare cannabinoids for pharmaceutical and the consumer health and wellness industry. They've got unparalleled cannabinoid manufacturing capabilities across multiple approaches to serve a spectrum of consumer markets. They're generating revenue or they're revenue generating. Their Q3 results actually came out back in the middle of May. They've got multiple rare cannabinoid products currently being sold through wholesale to the health and wellness market. They've got several high margin, high demand product launches planned in early 2022. So this is a near term catalyst we're gonna talk about towards the end of the presentation. They're a global leader in large batch production of rare cannabinoids, currently 200 kilogram batches with the ability to scale to metric tons. They're developing a diverse pipeline of rare cannabinoid therapeutics for diseases with high and unmet medical needs. And again, this is what we're gonna elaborate on in a couple of slides here. They have two lead indications in dermatology and ocular disease currently going through clinical and preclinical studies. And again, those are the two we mentioned in the intro there. So for EB and glycoma, they've got an extensive patent portfolio, which already includes 13 patent families across manufacturing and various different products. So a robust mode of intellectual property here and that seasoned team of pharma and biotech executives with extensive experience in the space, in manufacturing and in the cannabinoid sector. So really a lot to unpack here and a lot under the hood when you start to take a closer look at InMed Pharmaceuticals. Now I mentioned a little bit earlier, we we're gonna talk about what rare cannabinoids actually are. So if you look at the non-medical plant biomass here of cannabis, you can see that rare cannabinoids, all of them, there's 140 plus, represent less than 1% of the biomass of this plant. Now the major cannabinoids, the ones you're probably more familiar with, like THC, CBD, 
CBG, they represent anywhere from about 2 to 20% depending on the potency of that particular strain. So within the rare cannabinoid sector, again, less than 1% of the total plant biomass, you have a number of different rare cannabinoids, some of which we've already talked about in the presentation, and there's more listed here. And the thing to understand here, you guys, is these occur in extremely low amounts in the cannabis plant, making them extremely rare and extremely difficult to extract. The cost of extracting sufficient quantities of these cannabinoids can be prohibitive, especially if you don't have the infrastructure, the equipment, and the know-how. And the challenge is how to manufacture sufficient quantity and purity to investigate and potentially commercialize rare cannabinoid-based therapies. And that's exactly what the team at InMed Pharmaceuticals has mastered and is really bringing to market. Now, with that being said, they've really got a two-pillar approach or strategy within their business. So earlier I mentioned there was two sides of the house or parts of the InMed Pharmaceutical portfolio. Again, with the guiding mission of becoming a global leader in the manufacturing and clinical development of rare cannabinoids. So on the left-hand side here, you can see they have their rare cannabinoid manufacturing really focused on the pharmaceutical application, consumer health and wellness. And on the right-hand side, they've got their pharmaceutical development programs. This is really focused on the drug development pipeline, the novel cannabinoid analogs, and some of that research and development. So the manufacturing and production on the left, and really the research, development, and drug pipeline on the right. Now continuing to build out on that two-prong approach, InMed is looking to create shareholder value by combining complementary business models. So the first is the InMed Pharmaceuticals. This is the core cannabinoid pharmaceutical company. Again, focused on producing that pharmaceutical grade proprietary proprietary approach for synthesized cannabinoids through their Integrasyn system, which is trademarked. They're focused on therapeutic application of rare cannabinoids for the treatment of diseases with high and met clinical needs, which we've already discussed. That strong preclinical and clinical evidence for two lead indicators in the dermatology and ocular disease space. They've got the highly experienced team in pharma drug development and the NASDAQ listing, again, INM, you can see it at the bottom here, which gives them access to financial markets and liquidity to continue to fund their growth of this organization. Now on the right hand side, you have the Bay Medica subsidiary. You can see a division of InMed Pharmaceuticals in the fine print. This is really focused on the manufacturing and supplying the consumer health and wellness market. So this is the area of their business where they have their proprietary manufacturing platforms for naturally occurring rare cannabinoids, which we just looked at for the consumer health and wellness marketplace. They've got sector leading capabilities in synthetic biology and chemical synthesis, novel cannabinoid analogs for pharma, R&D or pharmaceutical research and development. And for those of you who aren't super familiar with this space, an analog is simply a compound that has a very similar structure to another compound. They've got that revenue stream, which is already up and operational. So more than two and a half million dollars in pre-acquisition cumulative sales. They're a leader in large batch production. We talked about some of their production capacity. So 200 kilogram batches currently with the ability to scale to metric tons in the future. So large scale production, especially especially considering how hard it is to extract these rare cannabinoids. Their new CBT product, which is expanding their lineup, and they're poised to launch additional high margin rare cannabinoids for business to business sales within the next three to six months or one to two quarters. So a lot going on here, a lot in the pipeline. And again, a very well set up company in terms of the two different divisions here between the pharmaceutical side and the actual manufacturing side or Bay Medica division. And that's a perfect setup to the next section here where we're gonna talk about these two different sides of the house in a little bit more detail. So first up is the rare cannabinoid manufacturing. Now without going into too much technical detail here, there's a few reasons why InMed Pharmaceutical really offers unparalleled cannabinoid manufacturing experience and production. So number one is through biosynthesis. So this is really preferred for complex structures at very large scale. It gives a potential for high yield and lower cost of goods sold at volume, and it's well suited for consumer health and wellness products. 
Now they've also deployed chemical synthesis technology. This has the potential for less equipment, lower capital requirements, and potentially easier to validate. And then they've got their trademark Integrasyn system, which utilizes very high efficiency biosynthesis derived from enzymes. It allows for flexibility to shift from production of one cannabinoid to a range of cannabinoids. And it uses commonly available and cost efficient starting materials. So it's easy to scale up to mass production, there's shorter production time, and higher yield ultimately equals or means lower COGS or cost of goods sold. So while it's important to note that no one single manufacturing approach fits all, and we've seen this with a number of cannabis extraction type of companies on the channel, having multiple avenues to select the most effective manufacturing method based on the target cannabinoid and appropriate quality specifications for that desired market segment is crucially important and that's exactly what you're getting with InMed Pharmaceuticals. So they have the optionality to use whichever approach or method is best for that specific situation. Now in terms of their rare cannabinoid pipeline, we already talked about some of the products that are up and in production. They've also got a number that are in the pipeline here. So THCV we already talked about, but there's six more that are already either in research and development or scale up development stages. And again, really expanding their product portfolio to best in class in this space. And as we talked about in the intro, the demand for these type of products is growing exponentially. You can see back in 2020, there was global demand of about $200 million for synthesized cannabinoid derivatives. That's expected to grow to $10 billion by 2025 and all the way up to $115 billion by 2040. So an extremely high growth market and really first mover advantage for InMed Pharmaceuticals. Now the next section here is really gonna focus on the cannabinoid drug development program. So again, there's two that are currently in flight. And I will warn you, the next slide here, you guys, is quite graphic as we start to look at EB. So EB is really a group of rare genetic skin diseases characterized by fragile skin that blisters easily from minimal friction that causes shearing of skin layers. And you can see here this poor little baby on the right. Again, I'm a new father, so this hits extremely close to home. And any company that's able to provide help for people that are in this situation is obviously extremely beneficial. The most common form of EB is known as EB simplex or EBS. It represents about 55% of all EB patients. And in the United States, there's estimated to be between 12,500 and 25,000 people that are suffering from EB. So it's a relatively rare disease. And that's really why Big Pharma hasn't focused on finding a solution. And there's really this unmet need. So there's no therapies that are currently approved specifically for the treatment of EB wounds or other symptoms. And that's exactly why InMed Pharmaceuticals has launched this initiative. So INM-755 is being developed for symptomatic relief in all EB patients and may have further utility in enhancing skin integrity in the subset of EBS or EB simplex patients. So based on their initial studies, they're seeing very promising results. They're actually using a cream formulation to treat these wounds. And as you can see here, they've now commenced phase two clinical trials in the EB space. And this is the first time the CBN compound has actually advanced to phase two clinical trials. So the study is taking place at 13 sites in eight countries around the world and patient screening and treatment is now ongoing. Now the second clinical initiative here, coined named INM-088, is examining the potential to again use CBN or the CBN compound to play a potential role in treating glycoma. So InMed data suggests that CBN is the cannabinoid of choice for neuroprotection in the eye, and they estimate the global glycoma market to be about 76 million people, so much larger target audience, with an estimated value or opportunity of about $11 billion by 2027. So the effect of CBN on glycoma, or the target effect, is a direct neuroprotection for the retina and optic nerve, independent of intraocular pressure or IOP reduction, and to reduce that IOP in the affected eyes via increased fluid drainage. Now in vitro studies demonstrate that CBN or the CBN compound protects the retinal cells from cell death under elevated pressure conditions, and that CBN may be able to reduce intraocular pressure. 
CBN appears to have a wide therapeutic window for neuroprotection, and studies compared CBN with several other cannabinoids, and they found that CBN was the standout candidate. And this slide here really does a good job of summarizing kind of the timelines and key milestones for both of these initiatives, whether you're talking about INM755 for EB or INM-088 for glycoma. So again, I would encourage you to go in and take a closer look for yourself. The bottom line here, you guys, is InMed Pharmaceutical is using these rare cannabinoids to treat various different conditions that are currently being unmet and helping people to live better lives through the use of these products. And again, this is all patent protected. They've got extensive patent protection for the company combined. They've got major opportunity to expand their patent portfolio with new chemical entities or NCEs. And the combined entity between both sides of the house here has 13 different patent families, seven in manufacturing, six in product and formulation, and fully commercial rights to that Integrasyn manufacturing approach. So again, always nice to invest in companies that have that patent protection, the intellectual property that really creates that moat to new entrants or competitors in the space. Now with that being said, and to wrap up today's presentation, obviously a lot to be excited about here, but I wanted to leave you with a few key catalysts looking forward into the back half of 2022. So they're launching several high demand CBs in the health and wellness space, which we talked about. They're looking to improve the manufacturing approaches to lower their cost of goods sold or COGS, complete enrollment in their phase two clinical trial, for EB, which we just looked at there, advance their glycoma program towards human clinical trials, and really continue to explore proprietary cannabinoid analogs for pharma targets. And all of that is gonna to continue to build this significant intellectual property portfolio and their patent portfolio, which again is a great thing to see as a potential investor in this company. So for those reasons, you guys, I'm super excited about InMed Pharmaceuticals. I think this one offers a lot of value to shareholders. Again, you're able to pick up shares at a reduced rate compared to just a couple of months ago. They've got an extensive pipeline here with new products coming online this year and a very seasonal and experienced management team really at the helm here. So for those reasons, I would definitely encourage you to take a look. Again, I'll leave a link to the company website in the video description below. I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts on InMed Pharmaceuticals, if you're currently holding shares and how you think this company stacks up to some of the others we've discussed on the channel recently. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.